I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question for us. Given the graph of y equals to f of x, so we are given the graph of y equals to f of x, sketched each of the following, each of the following composite function graphs. So we are given three functions here, it's kind of mixed up. So this is one function, this is the second function, that is the third function. So we'll see how by composition of the function, the graph changes. So we are given one particular graph, this is f of x, and we need to find f of g of x, where g of x is x minus 1. You get the point. So let me do the first one for you so that we understand, and then we'll do the later. So this is f of x, and we want to make f of g of x. G of x is given to us as x minus 1. So I could write this as f of x minus 1. So basically, we are given f of x, and if I say sketch x minus 1, what does that mean? It means, it means that you have to do horizontal translation of one unit to the right, right? So horizontal, let me write full, horizontal translation. one unit rise. So I hope you appreciate by this composition of function what we really get is if g of x is x minus 1 then the function becomes f of x minus 1. That means I have to shift every unit one unit to the right. So this is at 3 it will go to 4. This is at 2 it will come at 1. This is at minus 2 horizontally right so y values remain same so this will go shift to this place this intercept is kind of here you get the idea right so this x intercept will be here so every point will be moving one unit to the right do you see that so you get your graph so let's start connecting from the extreme so we get this and connecting all these lines here i think you can do a much neater job than this and this like this correct so we can have all this so this graph is my first function where g of x is x minus 1 you get the idea so that is how you can sketch the graph of composite function from the given function right so that is the first one for us let's try the next one the next one is this one where h of x is minus x so the next one is f of h of x correct what are we given we are given h of x is minus x so i'll write f of minus x now what does that mean it means it is reflected on y axis do you get the point so reflection on y axis means that the point which x value is minus 4 it becomes plus 4 so this value this point moves from here to that place so it gets reflected on y axis you get the idea now this point which is minus 2 will move to plus 2 so this line will now look like this line okay similarly we will translate all other points reflecting them on y axis now this is at 2 it gets reflected to minus 2 correct and this point which is at minus 2 gets reflected to plus 2 so we get that point as joining these two, right? So we can join it. So you can always take a scale and do it, okay? Now here, this point is at 3, right? This is at 3. So it moves to minus 3, which is kind of there, right? So we'll just join these two points, and that's it. So this graph which you see is f of h of x. Reflection on, this is reflection on y axis do you get it? so when you compose f of x with h of x that means this is followed after this right so first you reflect it on x axis then you apply the function that is what you get correct so that is how we can sketch the so last one i hope i can leave that for you so here we want f of m of x right so i'm doing it in a very light color m of x is 2x so it becomes f of 2x what does that mean it means vertical stretch by a factor of 2 
So from the original graph, everything gets multiplied by 2. So this value, which is at minus 3, will now appear at minus 6. Do you understand? This value, which is at 1, will now be at 2. Vertical stretch. So when you join them, you get a, you get a line like this. 0 remains at 0 okay so the 0 remains at 0 this point which is at 1 moves to 2 correct so I can just join this going through this 0 right so, so that's good kind of like this this is at half when you multiply by 2 it comes at 1 so that is what we have so vertical stretch by a factor of 2 gives us the third combination I choose the composition of function so that is how the functions can be composed using two different functions. This is an extremely important question. Try to understand the concepts. How, without really doing many calculations, we have got the composite function in place. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.